we are getting a first-hand account of a dollar store stabbing from the customers who helped stop the attack. Their heroic actions saved one woman's life and landed a man in jail. West 2's Chris Hush joining us live with their incredible story. Chris. Right, employees here say that that victim, it's a miracle that she's even alive today. The only thing now, a lot of employees, we're told here, are afraid to come to work because of what happened. The only sense of comfort around here is when these doors are locked. A small tin asking for donations sits near a cash register at this Dollar General store in the Eustis Plaza. Besides that, the only other way customers here know the horror that played out behind that register. But to be honest, I was scared. Ask those who witnessed it. I would have never thought. He just bugged out. He didn't say two words to anybody. Frederick Haggerty and his mother, who doesn't want to be identified, were customers waiting in line Sunday night when Eustis police say this man, 27 year old Edward Cowan, attacked an employee with a six inch knife. Grabbed her, just grabbed her face and started slicing on him. And I gave him a couple, a couple Nikes to the head. You know what I mean? Just trying to keep him there to, you know what I mean, for the cops. So Police say others, along with Haggerty, helped fight off Cowan. The victim, Diamond Jackson, managed to run out of the Dollar General and into the neighboring Big Lot store, where employees helped her until police and EMS crews arrived. Police say Cowan was eventually caught and arrested, found with two samurai swords wrapped in blankets in his hand. Jackson, who had only been on the job for two weeks, was flown to ORMC with serious wounds to her face, hands, and chest. And I hope she's recovering fast and easy. And and, you know, my regards go to her family. And that can that you see there right now inside the store has a sign on it asking for donations for the victim who we're told is also a mother of two. As far as Cowan goes, well, he is in jail on $250,000 bond for attempted murder charges. And when police asked him why did he do this, he said... Well, because she wasn't a good person. That's according to these police reports right here. He also goes on to tell officers that he suffers from a mental illness. Live in Lake County tonight, Chris Hush, West 2 News on CW18.